what are your plans when this movie is all over? What are you going to be doing? I shouldn't make movies anymore. Should go to a lunatic asylum <laughs> right away. But I don't know. It's uh, very much of it is is too crazy and too uh, just not not what a man should do in his life all the time. And I feel uh, what well, if even if I get that boat over the mountain and somehow I finish that film, anyone can congratulate me and talk me into finding it marvelous. I, nobody on this earth will convince me to be happy about all that. Not, not until the end of my days. Of course, we are challenging nature itself, and it hits back. It just hits back, that's all, and that's grandiose about it, and we have to, to accept that it is much stronger than we are. Kinski always says it's full of erotic elements. I don't see it so much erotic, I see it more full of obscenity. It's just, and nature here is vile and base. I wouldn't see it anything erotical here. I would see fornication and asphyxiation and choking and fighting for survival and growing and just rotting away. Of course, there's a lot of misery, but it is the same misery that is all around us. The trees here are in misery and the birds are in misery. I don't think they, they sing, they just screech in pain. There is no harmony in the universe. We have to get acquainted to this idea that there is no real harmony as we have conceived it. But when I say this, I say this all full of admiration for the jungle. It is not that I hate it, I love it. I love it very much, but I love it against my better judgment. If I believed in the devil, I would say the devil was right here and is still right here. It becomes very questionable because uh, people have lost their lives. People have been in a plane crash and five of them in critical condition. One of them paralyzed. And those are all the costs that you have to pay. It could have hit me or anyone and one starts to question the, the profession itself. When I came back to Germany and I tried to hold all the investors together, they said to me, well, how can you continue? Can you, uh, do you have the strength or the will or the enthusiasm or so? And I said, how can you ask this question? It is 
If I abandon this project, I would be a man without dreams, and I don't want to live like that. I, I, I live my life or I end my life with this project. My belief is that all these dreams are, are yours as well. And the only distinction between me and you is that I can articulate them. And that is what poetry or painting or literature or filmmaking is all about. It's as simple as that. And I, I make films because I have not learned anything else. And I know I can do it to a certain degree. <laughs> and it is my duty because this uh, might be the, the inner chronicle of what we are and we have to articulate ourselves, otherwise we would be cows in the field. <laughs>